while Azarali introduces himself into the attack. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Chairman of the Interim Committee of Sri Lanka Cricket and ex Sri Lankan player, Mr. Siddharth Pettumani. Welcome, Siddharth. Thanks, Russ. Two's the call. They'll get it easy. Run the first one hard. Makes it so much easier to come back for the second. Been busy days for you, Siddharth. Very busy days, Russell. Um, what I've tried to do is compartmentalize the areas we need to concentrate on and then uh, try and fix the different areas. And we've made some progress. Different areas you need to work on. Do you want to get into any of those specific areas as such? Yes, one is the infrastructure. Um, I think we have a huge problem with facilities, practice facilities. As you know, we've got 18 outdoor wickets here, uh, but no indoors. So we've decided to build an indoor facility with six uh, indoor nets, and then we will have a pool facility as well, so that you know, we could do our rehab work and training. And I think it's vitally important that we have the same facility in Pallakali and Dambulla, because if we are to do any training of any sorts, you have to do any training uh, we need all those facilities because if you have a rain off or something like that you know you disrupt the whole process if you want to bring kids into these centers and do different programs we will need those facilities so that's one of my priorities just to get those uh, indoor facilities and the pool getting going here yeah. you've already started on the project just behind us haven't you you've laid the foundation stone Yes, we, we, because of these games, we've just thought we'll wait till they finish and then start the hard work because there's some piling needed. Uh, we've already looked at Palakale and uh, Dambulla. We've located the areas and we will uh, start all those as soon as we can. Um, another area I've been very, very keen to work on is a soft skills program. Russell, today, as you know, maybe 90% of our cricketers come from the outstations and then they are brought into Colombo. Um, they lack a lot of exposure. The end of the 15th will come back to you, Siddharth, as the players take drinks at 72 for one.
Lanka won the toss. Elected to bat first. Kusal Pereira was dismissed in the very first over by Irfan. But a good partnership. He's got them back on track. A lot, of, lot more work to be done. The highest score by a Sri Lankan batsman in this series has been 68. With such a score, it's tough to go on and post right. those competitive scores, those big scores. Still with me is Siddharth Vettamuni, Yasir Shah. Just about to start his third over. You were talking about the soft skills program. Very interesting. Would you like to talk to us more about it? Yes. Uh, as I said earlier, we have 90% of our kids originating from rural areas and then they come into this international circuit. They feel very exposed. So we felt that we need to do a program which is like going to college and we are covering 11 areas at the moment and they have these Hello, lectures. Yeah. If you may call them, and they cover many, many areas, you know, even cricket history. Um, we start with things like etiquette, grooming, speech, you know, how to face an interview, business studies, psychology, yoga, financial management with a bank is doing with our guys. So they get a little more rounded exposure, and I think that all helps when you go out there. You need the confidence, you need to feel uh, comfortable with what you're uh, doing. So, and the initial response we've had is really good. The boys like it. And this program is given to the, the test team, the A team, the emerging team, the under 19 team and the ladies team. So, whenever they are available, we run these programs with them. You mentioned the junior teams uh, other than the test team. What other structural changes are you looking at, especially with the, the domestic competition? A lot being said about it and the standards. Yes, uh, I for one is definitely of the opinion that we need to improve on uh, the domestic standards. And one thing we've done is we're trying to bring in a second level. Uh, More from Siddharth in the next over. It's 75 for one. In yellow, the mandatory power play. Then the second passage of Sri Lanka's innings. So, uh, having a second eleven, I think, is a very important thing, Russell. As you know, in our time, we had the Sarah Trophy, then the Donnern and the, the Dale News. So, you could graduate from one to another. And if you lose form, you could come down from the Premier play a couple of games in the second level and go up. And I think it's very important that a club has bench players getting cricket. So we are trying to introduce that in the coming season. And also the four-day tournament, uh, which will be amongst the five super teams. You know, uh, we, we are trying to figure out how to market it as a zonal team, or, but it will be the Premier League, the cream of our cricket, playing in those uh, tournaments. Knocking it around Sri Lanka at this stage. So, um, another thing we have done is uh, we've increased the fees that we play a Premier player. Uh, we feel that our Premier cricketers need to be looked after better. And if you play in the Premier tournament and the uh, zonal or whatever we're going to call it the, the the next level a player can all earn over a million rupees or one and a half million for a season and uh, that will keep them wanting to play 
but we are not going to give out we have only 40 contracts as against maybe there was 104 something like that we've reduced it what we've said is you got to play and earn you need to play to earn so and it will bring about more competition as well and so that will start the season it's not going to be provincially based though no over the top top shot from Terimana they've been dealing in singles and he's had enough at the end of the 17th it's 84 for one Lanka made the two changes. Suranga Lakmal replaced Tisra Pereira. And Ashan Priyanjan, he makes a comeback in replacing Upul Taranga. Yes, sir. Uh, we, I, I don't think we should reinvent the wheel. We had a Sri Lanka Premier League played amongst... Uh, we, had, we had four teams. And uh, what we're going to do is make it five teams. And uh, build... Our structure around that. We also want to decentralize our cricket because at the moment I think Maitland Crescent runs everything. I don't think that's really a healthy thing because by decentralizing we could get many, many more cricketers into the net. For those who don't know what Maitland Crescent is, that's the location where the Sri Lanka Cricket Administration Office is uh, situated at the moment. The cricket operations or coaching structures or programs are run out here at the back here at the R. Premadasa Stadium. So we've been having lots of chats. Uh, Mahala is actually in the forefront of that project. Um, and I'm sure once uh, Kumar retires, he will get involved with us to try and restructure that because I firmly believe that we need to decentralize our management. You see, for example, you can't run the cricket in Kandy and around Kandy from Colombo. So we will then create a much healthier uh, setup where we can get more into international cricket. Um, so we'll have these five units and uh, then we want to decentralize management so that they will have man independent managers, coaches, a mini board, ideally. That's what my thinking is. So we will try and work through that after August when I'm really waiting for Mahela to come down because he's pioneer in that project with us. So take it from there. Any major obstacles that you see, finances? Well, when we took over, we, 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 we didn't have too much money in the kitty. We actually had an overdraft. Uh, but right now, we're looking healthy and we're very, very careful with how we spend our money. I, I think what's important is that we should spend the money only in the areas of cricket and uh, keep a very tight, very tight control in that area. So, Yasir Shah ends another over. It's 89 for one. the current rate Sri Lanka should get to around 247 but I think they'd like to get a score around 275 280 here this partnership setting the foundation right yes Sida, you were saying yes on the financial front I think right now we're fairly comfortable we do have debt 
Imad Wazim introduced into the attack for the first time today. We, we have some debt, but we are trying to uh, restructure that debt so that it, it isn't a burden on the board and we can then go on with the, the, the cricket side of things. So that seems to be under control. I have no fears on that front. You were an ex-player, a very good one at that, and now you're an administrator. And you've uh, associated with so many different roles. Has it changed during the years? <laughs> yes. Actually, I've been involved in... I've been involved in about six, seven interim committees. I've also been a referee. I've been, uh, I've been in the ICC uh, cricket committee, in the board. Uh, so this is interesting, but what I feel is, as a cricketer, I'm always looking at it from a cricketer's point of view. And uh, to me, that, that's what's uh, important, looking at the cricketing side of things. So, um, if we can get the cricket going well, that's all that matters. And I think bye it will bye. fall into place, you know, as you can see, we are, we are in one of those transitionary periods, losing Mahela and Sangha. But uh, given a couple more months, I think we will find our way around and uh, things should stabilize. So, I'll put you on the spot. What do Sri Lanka need to do better from a cricketing point of view? to get their performances to a higher level? I think uh, we have a few issues in uh, all three departments as I see it at the moment. Um, we could bat, bowl and feel better. But uh, uh, we had a great match the previous game and then the last game was not very good. But this game so far seems to be going all right. That is a side which is a uh, building, you know, this is the building stage of a team. But I'm very confident from what I have seen and heard about the youth we have, that given another few months, um, we should see a lot more stability in our cricket. We should see a lot more stability in our playing. Well, good to hear from you, Siddharth. Thank you for taking time out and coming and trying to explain to us what you have been trying to do with Sri Lanka cricket at the moment. Thank you, Russ. Thanks. At the end of the 19th, Sri Lanka 93 for 1.